Capricorns, welcome. As your heart spread read, it's already laid out in the shape of a heart. I did pull three clarifiers for the outcome that I haven't looked at yet. But I know I'm going to need them. This is a very complicated read. This is for the mid-December time frame. And here we look at you, kind of where you're at in the round relationships right now. Um, and we can see that with this Eight of Swords. It's a Klimt Art deck. It's a little different, but, you know, this is a tough energy to be in. Um, and I see here kind of a cycle. Your person, their energy is a Five of Wands. So, you know, this is more passive. This is being upset, being uh, thinking about it, can't get it out of your head, running things over your head over and over, that kind of thing. Um, and tough energy to get yourself out of because it's just in your head. It's like a prison in your head, right? Um, but this person, I think, is what's causing it, um, or you guys are causing it, not to uh, blame, you know, but your person here uh, is more uh, aggressive and uh, acting out with you. I think this is just you and your person here in some kind of a long-term relationship, I mean, you know. But you may have had this energy a little bit when you first came together, if you think back. Um, and maybe they do do too. Maybe they're just combative. Maybe they have a Venus, an Aries Venus. Um, but when you're reacting to them here, now you have the Three of Swords. And they're reacting with the Hermit to you. You can see with this card, you have to take into account with the Klimt Dark deck, the interpretation of the deck. And, you know, that's... The back is turned to you, guys. Uh, that um, It really feels like they're shutting you out. Um, and, you know, you're responding. I think maybe I can understand with the Three of Swords. You feel like it doesn't have the heart there, okay? But, you know, you're uh, in your mind. So, um, again, it's like, a, I think, maybe a pattern. Maybe with this very person, even. Or even with others. Um... And this could be them, they're ghosting you or something like this with this Hermit card too. I mean, in a way it's good. Um, it, it does indicate maybe uh, it is Virgo too, we'll keep that in mind. But it's indicating the way they're reacting to you. Um, so, you know, they might be looking at themselves or thinking about, you know, if you were ever wondering, I don't know, something like, oh, do they even know they did something wrong? But probably they do. And they're looking into themselves, though, but they're they're definitely not showing interest in you. Now, when you get down to the advice from spirit, it gets interesting because this is advice from spirit for you and how to deal with your other person, and that's you deal with them as the empress. Okay. <laughs> um, knowing your values, second house, uh, Taurus, um, um, solid, rock solid. Um, not uh, giving up anything, not giving yourself away, being solid like this. Um, and I feel like it's saying just be you, too. Um, like, and it's coming under the Three of Swords. It's kind of like your spirit guide want to tell you, like, please don't let this get to you. You know, let, uh, let them over here <laughs> get to you is really what it is. Now, the advice from Spirit, you look at these two cards together. I mean, I don't even have to show you um, the Fool. So, if they were to listen, I don't know if they would, but, you know, um, it, go for it. You know, it's uh, come out of the cave, <laughs> Hermit. The instructions will be Hermit. Come out of the cave and go throw yourself off of that cliff. And where the fuck's your little dog? But here you go, the Fool. <laughs> um and that would be you, um, I think, because, you know, you're showing up here as, as the empress, like spirit would want to be saying, like, you are an empress here, you are a great catch, you know, you're down, you're in this energy, whatever happened here, whether it was them or not, it just comes in, you know, uh, to consideration. Um, and the interesting thing that shows here is the four ones. This is uh, in the uh, advice for the relationship as a whole. And I think the advice is that there is a long-term committed relationship here to consider. And so this is kind of advice for both of you. So it's as if uh, uh, someone were to sit down or if you went to a marriage counselor, they might say, well, first, let's try to consider here. 
you have a long-term uh, committed marriage here in relationship or whatever and uh, um, you know that has value and you know the Empress should know right away it's all about value what's valuable Venus energy and Taurus what's tangible what's of tangible value here and it's sort of saying that your person should just go along with this you know but I got to feel they're not taking this advice because the outcome now is the five of cups so there's no castle here again it's a little different with the clipped art deck um but this now was all in your thoughts okay and with the empress but with the outcome with this interaction going on you get taken to your knees here with the five of cups and you know nobody can tell you oh look there's a cup behind you nobody can console you typically when you're in this energy this is hurting again like from a whole new way but this is i hate to say it, it was like in your emotions you know it's like they really get to you through this process Maybe because it is a relationship, maybe because Pluto Venus is really accentuating something and something hit the fan that maybe it happened before. So we clarify with three cards because this outcome, I believe, is clarifying just for you uh, now, Capricorn, because I don't really see a relationship here to clarify, see? That's why I want to immediately clarify with three cards. Once I saw that Five of Cups there, you know, that's not... Uh, you know, I well, I, I, you tell me. I mean, I appreciate comments anyway, and I try to uh, pay attention and, and get back. Uh, it's always interesting to me. But, you know, is this kind of what's going on for you? Because, you know, this would be this cycle now coming to an end here. A straw that breaks the camel's back. That was the title of another reading this uh, week. So there could be a theme. But I see this here with these... Uh, you have a knight you have a ace of wands and and then before that you have a page of wands um so that's someone coming in and making you an offer and i think it's just an offer for marriage i think it's someone coming in making you an offer for marriage and i don't think it's this person and i think it's like this you might want to take this to heart and it's like uh, as you're dealing with this I think the main thing to do here is to let it go because it's been a cycle maybe it's time um, because this is a, a new offer from possibly a younger person um, but I think it's very sincere you know um, and it might just be kind of what you need in a way uh, because this is someone that comes to you I think maybe you've been going to them and for the first time this is someone that comes to you and they're very serious. I mean, you're going to very quickly be thinking marriage with this person, guys. Hey, day, Gabagorns. Or very quickly for you. You know, way quicker than you normally would. After only five years of dating, you might already be considering a marriage very quickly. Whatever that means, I don't know. Maybe not fire sign uh, quickly. But uh, let me know what you think, guys. I appreciate it. Um, share, tell friend, tell friend. Do subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Thank you, guys.